Welcome back to Sakuri Security's Guide to WP Scan, a black box vulnerability scanner for WordPress. Last time we looked at how to install it on Mac and Linux, and this time we're going to look at a few arguments you can run with WP Scan in Terminal. First thing you want to do is get into your WP Scan folder, so in Terminal type CD WP Scan. From here we're going to run the Ruby application, Ruby WP Scan.rb, and space dash dash URL, and then put the URL of the WordPress website that you want to scan for vulnerabilities. After this, we're going to add the argument dash dash enumerate space p. And this is going to give us a list of all the plugins that we can find on this WordPress website. This isn't just going to show us the vulnerable ones, it's actually going to go ahead and list all of the ones it can find. And it's going to check them against the WP Vuln DB database to see if there are any vulnerabilities to report. As you can see, it's just going ahead and checking now with that progress bar at the bottom. And in a minute, we'll get a bunch of information spit out, and you can just scroll up after, and we'll take a look at what it's found. So it found three plugins. You can see Akismet there at the top was fine, no issues there, but there are a few red and blue icons here, so let's take a look at those. We did find a one vulnerability here, and it does give some references in WP, VulnDB, and elsewhere. And there's another one here. So the more references there are, the more serious it usually is, and the blue icons also tell you it's been fixed, so you can get an update. The next argument we're going to run is just the same thing, but with a VP instead of a P. And this is actually just going to show us only the vulnerable plugins. So it doesn't show us every plugin that's installed on the website. It's just going to show us the ones that we have to worry about. And if there is no update available for um, a vulnerable plugin on your website, then you may want to just disable it, get rid of it, uh, make sure that it's not putting your website at risk. And so there you go. The next argument we're going to look at is similar. It's enumerate T, and as you may have guessed, this one's going to show you th the themes. We're actually just going to use VT and just uh, skip ahead to look at just the vulnerable ones here, because that's what we're interested in finding out. So it's a little bit faster of a scan here, a lot less themes, and again, just only the vulnerable ones. So here we go. Got an old theme here um, with some references as well from the WP VulnDB. So the next one that we're going to do is enumerate you, and this one is going to try and check the WordPress website to see if we can find out the names, the login names of users on the website. So as you can see, it's found a few users here. And the next thing that we're going to try is we're going to see if we can get the passwords of those users. So to do this, we're going to run a very similar command. This time, though, the argument is going to supply a word list. So um, hackers do have lots of common passwords that have been dumped over the years, and so there's huge words list, word lists out there that can be used to brute force websites and basically break into your um, WordPress website once they know your username. So I've got a word list here in my WP Scan folder that I'm using, and it's going to go ahead and first scan and enumerate the users. There they are. And there you go. So it's found the passwords for all three users. So uh, that does show that it's a vulnerable password. You wouldn't want to be able to be brute forced, obviously. So it would be a good idea to definitely update and change these passwords. And again, the severity of the brute force attempt depends on the word list that you're using. So hackers can use all kinds of word lists that are out there. Um, thanks so much for watching, and make sure to keep your website safe.